And welcome back to Hannity. Since September, radical Egyptian President Mohamed Morsi has been calling on the U.S. to free convicted mastermind of the 1993 World Trade Center bombing, Omar Abdel Rahman, also known as the Blind Sheikh. And this week, Morsi, who is a top Muslim Brotherhood official and a 9-11 truther, but also a new ally to America, is yet again requesting the Blind Sheikh's release. And this time, he is directing his plea right to President Obama, who has been mute on the issue. But with a trip to the U.S. and a meeting with President Obama, on Morsi's calendar and suspicions that the anointed one might cave to his new pal Morsi. Now that the election is over, top Republicans, they are demanding that Obama speak up and stand strong against the radical leader. Joining me now, syndicated columnist, author, Fox News contributor, Michelle Malkin. He's got blood on his hands, Michelle. He's a murderer. He's a terrorist. He's a killer. We're giving yes. this, we're gi we're this 9-11 truther who is at war with Israel of 1.5 billion taxpayer dollars, and the media is silent on it. I don't help me out. Why? Yeah, well, the media is silent on it because Obama is silent on it, and I find his complete silence and unwillingness to outright reject this outrageous call to release or somehow transfer the murderous blind shake absolutely appalling, an insult to not only all of the families of 9-11, but certainly, of course, all of the, the families who lost loved ones. There were six of them who were killed in the 1993 World Trade Center bombing and the thousands who were injured. We are coming up on the 20th anniversary of the 1993 World Trade Center bombing in February, and this man, Mohamed Morsi, can go around publicly demanding the release or humane transfer or treatment of the blind shake and our commander-in-chief says nothing right, I think this tells you everything you need to know about how much we've regressed since 9 11 totally and I and I really really would like to see not only more Republicans joining the call to demand that Obama outright say blow it out your ear Mohammed Morsi can we translate that in Arabic and tell him straight out stop asking for it because it's never going to happen but I, we've had um, some very, very wise counsel and warning from uh, the former prosecutor who put o uh, Omar Abdel Rahman behind bars, um, our friend Annie, Annie McCarthy, McCarthy yep. who, that's right, who back in September had warned that we can't believe any of the denials that are coming out from the underlings of this administration right, that this would never happen. Here's, though, where it gets worse. American taxpayers, mm -hmm. everybody watching this show right now needs to understand 1.5 billion American dollars are going to Egypt, going to the Muslim Brotherhood guy, 9-11 truther, and let me play this tape that we played on the program last week. Listen to what he says about our friends, the Israelis, that they're bloodsuckers, descendants of apes and pigs. Watch this. التي ما جاء بها الأعداء الصهاينة والأمريكان إلا لتكون على عكس وضد إرادة الشعب الفلسطيني وضد مصالح الفلسطينيين إما الصهاينة وما يريدون وإما الحرب هذا ما يعرفه هؤلاء المحتلين لأرض فلسطين المعتدين على الفلسطينيين هؤلاء مصاصي الدماء مشعل الحروب أحفاد القردة والخنازير مقاومة في فلسطين مقاومة فلسطين في داخل أرض فلسطين عسكرية ضد هؤلاء ضد هؤلاء الصهاينة المجرمين الذين يعتدون على أرض فلسطين وعلى الفلسطينيين all right, you're Benjamin Netanyahu, and you hear that. Now, by the way, said in 2010, you see your closest ally, America, give $1.5 billion. And then add a little, you know, cream and a cherry on top. Then you've got Obama appointing Hegel and Brennan. What is your reaction if you're the Prime Minister of Israel? Well, I'm, I'm sure that Benjamin Netanyahu's jaw has dropped to the floor so many times that it's black and blue there. Um, and it's not just Israel that should be worried, of course. It's every American here at home who worries about national security. It's about every American family that has a, a relative uh, who's a soldier trying to fight jihad overseas while we're subsidizing the terror coddlers. And, by the way, might I add, rolling out the wealth 
like a mat, not only for Morsi, but so many of these Muslim Brotherhood and other terror front groups who are getting in the front door. I reported on Hisham Al Talib, who has Muslim Brotherhood ties, who came into the White House, and there are dozens, there are scores of them who've been allowed, including a Gama Islamia uh, official. That's the terror group of which Omal Abdel Rahman is the spiritual leader of, who got a, a visa granted by the State Department in June, walked into the White House, talked to at least one national security advisor about what, guess what, the possible release of Omar Abdel Rahman.